What's that? Another Taurus? Yes, it's another Taurus. You got a problem with that? Deal with it. They're making good pistols like this one. Let's check it out. Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, thanks for checking it out. Maybe consider getting subscribed down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video at the end of it. Not here, that just doesn't seem right. You should probably watch it and make sure you like it before you give me one of those. Use my Amazon affiliate links. You'll help the channel grow, which will allow me to actually get some of these firearms that I check out from time to time. Put some extensive use from them, through them, not from them. And then we will be able to give you a better review of them after the tabletop. Now what we're taking a look at today is another Taurus product, and I do like Taurus. I've taken a look at a lot of Taurus products. That's because Taurus has made a lot of improvements over the last few years. That's because they have better quality control, they've based their operations in the United States now, and they're standing behind their firearms. Yes, as always, there's going to be hit and misses. The Spectrum did not do as expected, it had to do with obviously build quality as well as reception for a 380 pistol in today's market. This, however, is something that came out and it was pretty damn impressive when it came out. I just don't know why I never got my hands on one because I'd been looking for a uh, youth and safety act notice for quite a long time. No, I'm just kidding. What I've been looking for is a medium to full size. I'd say it's full size because of the size of the frame. 22 caliber plinking pistol and Taurus went ahead and manufactured it for me. Inside the box as you can see you have a speed loader which doesn't make sense because it's a 22, a spare mag, a trigger lock, your manual, and the ubiquitous youth handgun safety act notice which we put into every firearm that is sold. This is required. If you have a child and you're gonna let them use a firearm, please go over this with them, as well as take them out to the range and teach them to shoot responsibly. Now that the box is examined, we will go ahead and move that out of the way. Taurus, I really like that you just use paper boxes. Sorry, it's 3.30 in the morning and I'm filming this. So yes, this is a paper, not cardboard, it's paper. But a paper box for their firearms, which means they aren't wasting any of their hard earned money. This is the firearm. Let's go ahead and drop the magazine. Safety check it. I'm going to lock it back because it's a side ejecting port. Stick my finger as far in there as I can. Pinky fits, so we'll use that finger in there. There is nothing inside of this thing, so let's go ahead and drop the slide on it. And we are going to take a look at it. This is the Taurus TX-22. Now, when this was introduced at SHOT Show, it kind of surprised people. People heard about it coming, but once you put your hands on it, it's very surprising because of what it is. What makes it impressive is that it's a 16 plus 1 22 caliber pistol. That's hard to do. 22 caliber or 22 long rifle, which this gun shoots, is a rimfire cartridge, which means unlike centerfire cartridges, which are exactly what they sound like, they have a primer in the center, and they need a firing pin to hit it in the center. Rim fire cartridges are hit on the edge of the rim, which then uses percussion to set off the powder. Because of that, they have a little rim that goes around the edge of the cartridge that's wider than the cartridge itself, and that causes stacking issues. When you stack 22 caliber, it tends to want to kind of do this as you go down because the back of the cartridge is taller than the front. I'm not going to grab any ammunition. This is a tabletop review and I don't want any ammunition near the firearm. Not saying I could somehow accidentally load a magazine, put it in, rack the slide and shoot it, but always treat a gun like it's loaded. Don't be the guy that shot his monitor. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pistol. As you can see, I'd kind of compare it in size to a 19X because what it has is an almost full size grip. As you can see, I can get a full three fingers without the magazine on there, and it has a shorter slide. So the slide to frame ratio is about the same as a 19X. Makes it very comfortable to hold, very comfortable to shoot. It has the new Taurus design language, which is stippling on the frame. Nice design. This one has a little bit more of an angular cut design to it, which looks really nice in my opinion. It has a nice undercut for the trigger guard, so it allows you to get your hand up nice and high because we all know how bad 22 long rifle recoils. And it does have their version of memory notches, which are just nice cutouts in the frame itself. And it fits in your hand really well. You have a nice space here for your thumb on both sides of the pistol. 
One thing that you'll see is that it does have ambidextrous safeties, which is nice to have if you shoot left and right. However, the slide lock is only on one side. Although it is such a light pistol that you can easily drop the slide with your index finger. Trigger does not have a safety on it, which is perfectly fine because, again, you have an external safety. Some people just don't like safeties, period. However, this is a plinking pistol. It's not a carry pistol, or not recommended for a carry pistol because it's just a 22 long rifle. And I don't anticipate many people will be wanting to carry a 22 long rifle unless you just want to scare the perpetrator versus killing them. It has front and rear slide serrations. It is a polymer frame with an aluminum slide. Differs a little bit from the Glock. The Glock has a polymer slide with aluminum rails where it actually sits on the frame rails. This is an aluminum alloy for the entire slide. It's very light. The spring is not too strong, so it should cycle pretty well. Taking a look at the sights, you do have fully adjustable rear sight for windage and elevation. It is a three dot arrangement. Pretty easy to pick up. It is just a screwed in front sight, so you could adjust it. You just loosen it and knock it around a little bit if your windage is off a little bit in the front or your, your, your angle is off a little bit in the front. Does have a 1913 style pick rail on the bottom with a two slot setup. You could put a laser or light on there. It's a flat front trigger guard on it, which is pretty nice. Stippling goes all the way around the grip, front and rear. Taurus panels. I'm going to call them Taurus panels from now on because they always put their bull down there. And it feels really nice. They're not overly aggressive. Some guns have a super aggressive stippling. This is just nice and grippy without being overly aggressive. It falls very nicely to hand. I'll say that right now. In my hand, this thing feels really good. Now, I don't have any snap caps. Forgot to get some. Uh, so I'm not going to be just pulling the trigger recklessly in here. However, I will pull it once to show you the trigger pull and the reset. Don't whinge in the comments. You can pull it once or twice without fear of damaging it. Just don't do it a lot. This is not a gun you dry fire. You need snap caps. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. Here's the trigger pull. Comes back. There's your wall. And then very crisp, very light. Reset is right out there. So it's actually farther back than the wall, which is really nice because that means you can just go right into your next shot. And that is all I am going to be doing with the trigger. It's probably about a five pound trigger from the feel of it, which is not too heavy. And it won't accidentally go off if you're tucking it into your pants. So now that we've taken a look at it, the next thing to do is to disassemble it and show you the inside. First thing we always do here is we will safety check the pistol again. Make sure there's nothing in it, nothing in here. It's very, very empty. Always double check, triple check, quadruple check. Take that extra five seconds and extra, extra check your firearm. You don't want to shoot your dog or your friend, although I would shoot my friend before I shoot a dog. No offense. And you can go ahead and drop your slide. Unlike most of the Tauruses which imitate Glock, this one is slightly different. It does have a couple of takedown points right here. Then you just... You do have to pull the trigger, push it forward, and then the slide comes off. So yes, you are pulling the trigger to disassemble it because it's striker fired. Again, don't just do it recklessly. Once you have it out, it's very much like any other striker fired pistol. You just take your spring out. It's just a big, ginormous single spring. It is captive, which I do like. Not that I've ever lost a spring, but still, it's nice if you're out in the field and you're disassembling your firearm, you don't have to worry about it going and doing that. The barrel is a very, 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 very itty bitty piece. Looks pretty nice though. Now from appearances, it looks like it's a two piece barrel. It looks like it has an insert in order to get it down to the diameter they wanted to and still machine it the way they want it to. That's perfectly fine. 22 long rifle does not have enough breech pressure to damage any kind of two piece barrel. The barrel is ramped, which will help it feed some of the cheaper ammunition, which tends to have a rougher bullet on them. They're not polished brass or hollow points like some of the faster velocity stuff. So things like your Thunderbolt will feed a little bit more reliably into there. Taking a look at the slide, this thing is super duper light. It weighs about the same as the polymer magazine that comes with it but it is made out of aluminum. Inside, you have your firing pin inside of the enclosure there. You have a drop safety right there, 
and you have your breech face there. It looks like this is a little bit of steel inside of the aluminum, which does give it a little bit more reliability and long-term functionality, which is perfectly fine. And taking a look at the inside of the slide here, this thing is super thin. They cut out, looks like every single bit of material they could. I, it really feels like I could almost push my finger through it. And that's good because that means a lighter slide, which means hopefully it will cycle more reliably. I have heard these are pretty reliable. I haven't taken one out and shot it yet. I do want to pick one up and take one out because, again, I've been spending a lot of time looking for a plinking 22 that wasn't like a little Walther or a 22 Rough Rider or anything like that. I want something that's an almost full-size pistol. The Glock was very interesting to me. However, I've heard some bad things about it. Not saying it's a bad pistol, but I've heard some reliability issues with them, and I really don't want to invest $400 into a pistol and have reliability issues. I did that with the Chiapa, and you've seen how that comes out. But now that it's taken apart on the table, you can see it's just four main parts to field strip it and clean it and reassemble it, and that's what we're going to do now. So take your slide, flip it over, take your barrel, which, by the way, is different from a typical browning because it actually locks up there not back here put it back in bring it back barrel is in you're going to have a fat end and a smaller end the smaller end goes in the slide like this and sits flush if you're not sitting level check it because it's not going to reassemble on the pistol correctly taking a look at the frame you do have metal inserts here for the frame rails in the fire control group i do approve of that it adds to longevity of the firearm i've said that a bunch of times and i mean it there's your drop safety back here there is your release for the striker and there is your extractor or excuse me ejector very typical very, very compact, and it looks like it's built really nicely. Obviously, being polymer, it's very light. However, they did take the time to finish it inside. Sometimes you see these have a little bit of a rougher finish. This one is nice and smooth inside. Again, Taurus has come a long way, guys. Give them another chance. Hyundai made really crappy cars for like 20 years, and then all of a sudden they made some winners. Just keep it in mind. So reassembly, take your frame, take your slide, you're going to line it up with the cutouts, which is not too difficult. As you can see, you just kind of set it down on there. You don't have to slide it back on frame rails. Drop it down a little bit and rack it. That's it, you're back together. I'm not pulling the trigger, but I know it's reassembled. So now is the time where I give my opinion. Well, it seems to be very well finished. Taurus has come a long way. If you've had a bad experience with Taurus in the past, I understand I'm still dealing with a company that I don't really care for, and I haven't had a good experience with any of their other products, so I'm still on the fence about them. But if something came out that really interests me, I'd probably try to swallow my opinion and maybe give it a look. So I would encourage you to do the same. Do as I say, not as I do. Go to your local shop, Put one in your hand, see how it feels, compare it to other contemporary firearms such as the Ruger Mark IVs or the Walther P22s or the Glock 44 and see what you think. If I can get my hands on a TX22 and a Glock 44 used that I can take out and shoot, I will do that. Leave it down in the comments, let me know what you think. Have you had one of these give you any problems? Do the 16 rounders give you any issues? Do you love your pistol? Do you hate your pistol? What are your opinions? Don't forget to thumbs up the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and use my affiliate links. So I'm going to get out of here. Other videos coming up. Just keep your eyes out on the channel. I do other stuff. Check out some of the other videos. There's like 730 videos on the channel. And as always, I'll talk to you later.